Welcome to Take 5, where I'm talking with Eric Stoffers, owner of Wilkebatch Fine Art Printing in the Netherlands. And we're going to be discussing True Life Acrylic, which is a fine art acrylic material which is optically coated. Um, and we have another Take 5 episode which discusses the anti-reflective coating in more detail, if you'd like to look at that. But the coating for True Life is just on one side, the outer facing side, so that it can be used for face mounting or direct printing on the other side. So hello, Eric. Hi there. So your specialism um, being the face mounting of images, can you talk us through, first of all, what face mounting is and why an artist might choose face mounting? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elisa. We are happy to be one of the companies who is uh, one of the 20 companies who has the DISEC process in its company. Uh, it's already operational for half a century. And the nice thing of DISEC is that uh, a fine art print that, you, that comes from your pigment printer, as you see here on the left, uh, can be mounted into acrylic, which is shown in the diagram on the right. You make a print and we glue it into acrylic with fluid glue. And in that way, the print becomes one with the acrylic, as if it is cast into the acrylic, which makes the image enhanced uh, extremely regarding the, the deep blacks and the whites and the contrasts, the colors become deeper. And the nice thing of the face mount in acrylic is that you do not need a picture frame like you see here at the back. You can leave that away if you want. Oh, yeah. That is a, an interesting thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's a picture here of, um, I think, the, the protective tape being removed. It at is. The end of the process. We check every image after the mounting to check if there are any yeah, imperfections. Mostly not, but sometimes we can catch it up here if it occurs. Yeah. So I've got a couple of images here from um, some ph photographers, Rob um, and Benjamin, and I know their choice of true life acrylic material is in part due to the UV blocking qualities and the abrasion resistance, the anti-static qualities also. Um, but I'd like to ask you what perhaps um, you feel photographers value most highly in as a, as a quality in true life acrylic and to discuss this um, artist who you work with very closely, Marcel. Marcel van Luyt is uh, combining several images into one, which makes the image very attractive to look at. He's got a way of working that almost every image is a masterpiece. Uh, we work for Marcel already for years. And you can see here that he uses deep blacks and uh, extreme whites, like in the flower on the top left. And yeah, he likes true life very, very much because of the excellent clarity of the acrylic due to the non-reflective coating, of course, and it enhances the image clarity very, very well, where it looks as if while you made a print, it makes the color space even wider than you had expected. And I've got a picture here of a, a photographer we've worked with, Tim Plack, with his Philippine Eagle. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to talk us through a little bit about, you can really see the anti-reflective qualities working here. It looks here at the right as if uh, a normal face mount would not look good, but it really does look good. But on the left, you can see that the blacks are extremely deep and that the, the, the details in the white feathers of the chest of the eagle is uh, scientifically, uh, significantly, that's the right word, better than uh, the one on the right and the sharpness of the eyes and the beak of the bird is just excellent and it is really even it's uh, hard to uh, believe but it is a, a better uh, way to life than the normal acrylic that you use yeah and just i've got another picture here just to remind us that you know the the presentation side of using an acrylic, um, you know, that kind of minimal look you can get. Um, this is a good example where you see that uh, with the use of uh, a face mount through the ISAC, you don't need a picture frame so that the whole 
view goes to the image only and is not distracted by any frame. Yeah. Because it's yep. not necessary to use a frame. You can do it, but you can also leave it away if an artist chooses to do that. Great. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for coming on and discussing true life with us. Thank you. It was a pleasure.